back to Tuesday Storytime with, oh, it's Joe. Today we're gonna be talking about my first year in Los Angeles. It's been a year since I've moved here and so much has changed, so much has happened. There's so much to be catching you up on, oh my gosh! So you're probably wondering why we're all gathered here today. Well, if you scroll down and look at the title, it's my one year anniversary in LA. Do you hear the crowd cheering? <laughs> What a journey it's been. If you watched my last story time video, I just moved out here from New Jersey about a year ago. Uh, if you want to be technical, beginning of October of 2016. So that marks a year here and it's been so much fun. I've done some pretty crazy stuff since I've been here, you know? I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to brag, but I've seen movies. Uh, I went out to Chipotle a lot. This one, <laughs> this one time I got shoes, hang on. Shoes, oh! And a parrot. I bought a parrot, cause LA man, that's what happens when you're here. You're in the city of dreams. You're in the city of make-believe. If someone has an idea, you bring it to life simply by just taking out your, your best camera. And with your camera, you basically, oh God, this is poop. You take out your best camera and you film it and you make it come to life and that's what I did with Instagram. Now drones are not really ideal to film sketches or comedy skits with, but you do what you can. This is my one year recap of LA since I've been here. This is how I started filming videos and sketches and oh, hilarious videos. Everyone's like, Cho, I, I binge watch your videos all the time. I know, me too. I got a job shooting photos at an app release party where I ran into the very first victim of mine, Jason Nash. I ran into Jason Nash. And at the time, I was like, oh my God, you're Jason Nash from Vine. He was wearing a P outfit and he walks right by me. I'm like, Jason. And he's like, hey, how's it going? So I went over and shook his hand, introduced myself. I'm like, hey, I do video uh, photos. If you ever need anything, like I'd love to help shoot with you. And this is right about at a time when Vine was dying. And he wanted to start up his YouTube channel. So I started helping him, filming a little bit of the longer sketches and doing like the vlogs and whatever it was. And from there, he introduced me to a bunch of people. He brought me out to different parties and I got to network and like mingle and it was basically me just going around saying hey I'd love to shoot with you like let's see what we can come up with and a big edge that I had was that I am from the film video world. So when shooting with me I was able to shoot and edit the videos and people would just be able to do what they loved which was just acting. So I started shooting a lot of sketches. One of the other big influencers that Jason introduced me to was Manon and Manon who actually this is her apartment now I'm living in it. She moved out to New York and I'm staying in her place in LA. Manon and Jason were the first two people to basically like show me around, introduce me to people, and their little networks that they introduced me to helped bring me from here to here, and hopefully I can just go up to here now. And we're gonna see where it goes. They hooked me up with meeting new people, and just throughout that I was able to grow my following. When I first started out here in this social media space, I just wanted to be a, a video guy. I just wanted to keep shooting and editing, but I also wanted to grow my following. So when I was shooting these sketches, no one was following me. And I was seeing all these other people do like these extraordinary things. They were getting these awesome brand deals, and I I wanted that, but I needed to have my following go up. So the only way that I was able to do that was by putting myself in the videos, but I didn't really want to be part of them. I still wanted to shoot them. So by me just holding the camera and putting my voice and my hand in it, that was my way of being in the videos, but not really. Calm down, you're gonna burn down the laboratory! The blood of water! And I've always wanted to stick to telling these storylines because that's what I want to do. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get my own TV show and whether I'm shooting, directing, coming up with the ideas, I just want to be part of something that has a crew and we can take it to multiple seasons and that would be like the dream. That's the end goal of all of this, wherever it goes. Some of my favorite shows on TV were always like Malcolm in the Middle, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Workaholics, anything that has like witty humor. Oh, The Office. I love The Office. Steve Carell is hilarious. It's just a big influence of mine and that's hopefully where I can take all the social media stuff to the next level and do traditional form shooting, editing, directing, acting even. I would love to try acting and just be in the videos. Anything entertainment wise, I just want to be part of that. And that is hopefully where all this goes. But back to my whole year in LA. Some of my favorite memories that I've been here was I used to schedule photo shoots just so I can help get to know the area. So I got to go see different, I guess, touristy areas, but also landmarks in LA that I never would have got to see had I not just gone there. And kind of doing these photo shoots was a reason for me to go explore them. I was able to just network my way through and like it was basically just like a ladder of people going from like here to here to here to here and you could like if you go on my Instagram you can follow like who follows who as far as like the influencers and who introduced me to who. I've always been super lucky with that that people would give me the shot to like let me film with them to let me create with them and that was always something that I was very grateful for because I understand the fact that like giving your time to somebody else is very valuable and for other people to do that with me that's like the greatest gift of all because I get it like how do you just meet somebody 
somebody on the internet and be like, hey, let's hang out and see what we can do together. Like, we both have these same passions. Obviously, it's like expected, but it's still very, I don't wanna say tough, but like, it's a big leap. And then when you like click with somebody, it's like, all systems go. So, in the time that I've been here, one of the goals that I set for myself was to grow my Instagram so that I can get these brand deals and go on these awesome trips and these little extra, I don't, not extravaganzas, what's the word? <laughs> um, I don't know, these like, these like fun, fun little journeys or whatever. And I wanted to be part of that. One of my first brand deals was with TBS and it was for a TV show called Rec. I got to go to this little barge that they created and it was all themed of the show. I got to go with Annalise and we made a funny sketch and my video got the most views, which was really cool and I was like yeah I'm gonna get so many more brand deals and then like no none none came in <laughs> one of the main goals when I came out here was to grow my Instagram when I came out I started at 6,000 followers now I'm at 118,000 followers hopefully it only keeps growing fortunately Instagram has been posting my videos and in the videos you might like which had I not been out here in LA I never would have gotten that chance or opportunity I grow from collabs that's just my thing because I shoot with people and we do funny videos together another big change in my first year in LA of my life has been and I got a girlfriend. Whoa! Annalise is awesome. We've actually met on a shoot. She's been my little homie ever since. We've been vlogging all the time, shooting videos. I help shoot her stuff, she helps shoot my stuff. I've been so lucky, literally, just to meet a person like her. I am very selective with who I date as far as like that whole relationship stuff, and she just hit every criteria, but so much more. She's always making me laugh, and that's like the biggest turn on, I guess, for me as a person. Um, you have to laugh, and if you laugh at yourself, you'll be able to find comedy in anything. And that's a terrible quote, but. <laughs> You just gotta laugh all the time. Life's too short to get mad, angry. Since coming out here, I've been able to shoot with some of the best, most popular YouTubers and most popular Instagrammers and models, artists. I've never been to so many mansions before in my life and the Hollywood Hills is just like filled with them and it's such a journey and a ride out here. And if you're looking for something in the art, something in the entertainment industry, like you have to be here. Opportunities arise just from being here. I've always felt that I was doing the right thing, just in the wrong place. I was doing it in New Jersey. I should have been doing it in Los Angeles this entire time. Oh, we have a question. What's your favorite place in Los Angeles that you've discovered? Oh, wow. Well, I actually found a private beach in Malibu, and it has some awesome views. It's bright blue water. It's literally everything that you picture Malibu to be, but so much more. Apparently, Beyonce's house was like right across the street from there. That's one of my favorite places. I've been to Marlon Brando's old house. I've been to Sonny and Cher's old house. Oh, what is my least favorite thing here? Hey, crowded streets, so Hollywood Boulevard is not one of my favorite places to film, but I do it. Um, I don't know, just bringing my camera out in public just like freaks me out because of the unknown and you never know what's gonna happen, but that, that always gets me a lot of anxiety. Yeah. Since my first year being in LA, I have moved twice now, so I moved into Burbank, California, which is still in Los Angeles, and I moved from Burbank to Studio City, so I moved from having roommates to just having my own one bedroom, and that's been awesome. Some of my favorite things to pass time here in LA is hiking. I love hiking, I love finding new places to eat. There's a place called Salt and Straw Ice Cream. It's amazing. If you ever come out here, you have to try it. Those are both things that I did do in New Jersey. However, hiking, I had to go to Pennsylvania or New York, so that was always an hour and a half. Right now, these mountains are like in my backyard, which is sick. What celebrities have I spotted? I've seen Queen Latifah when I went hiking at Runyon Canyon, and that was it. Oh, and the guy from The Lonely Island. I saw the singer. He was leaving a supermarket once. And again, both of those times, I did not spot the person. Someone else spotted them. Yeah, I feel like I've covered as far as everything that I wanted to. The biggest change really was just being able to film every single day with people who wanted to shoot. I was always struggling with that back home to try and find someone to shoot with. My best friend used to give me a day, one day a week. He would give me two hours on a Sunday and we would be able to film vines. Those were the only two hours. So I had my list of vines that I wanted to shoot and he would be like, yeah, sure, Joe. He was all gung-ho about filming them. I don't play my guitar anymore. I guess that's something that I do miss. I hope I don't lose that skill because that was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's as much as changed from my last year moving to LA. It's been amazing and hopefully I have another awesome year because this year just helped elevate me to like a new level of happiness that I didn't know existed. And that's what I want to do. Just keep being happy. So give this video a like. Comment below what we should do the next story time with. That was really awkward with my hands. I don't know why I did that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, it's Joe. Oh, it's Joe. Oh, I used to be JRV Films on Instagram. That was just my initials with films. But then I wanted to do something that like stuck. Me and my best friends always had this one hangout spot. We would just like walk into the person's house and like we would just chill. Every time I would walk in, they'd always be like, who's there? And then they'd turn around and they'd be like, oh, it's Joe. That's how I came out with my name. I walk into a room, everyone's disappointed. That's just the way that it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding, because I'm awesome. We'll see you next time. <laughs>